Hello artists and welcome to your first art lesson this week. You have either already read about it, maybe even started it, or this is your first time hearing about it. So for this week, uh, we are our challenge is to take old recycled toilet paper rolls or, um, oh geez, I'm sorry. <laughs> old toilet paper rolls or paper towel rolls, and we are gonna use those to create a work of art. Uh, today, my goal is to give you some tips and tricks on how to cut, bend, mold, um, build using simply just scissors and your paper towel rolls. So with that, um, as you can see in front right here, I have started out, we would call this a two-dimensional artwork and I just had some fun creating a spring themed um, artwork. Uh, all I used, like I said, was the, the recycled toilet paper rolls and scissors and then I did use a little bit of Elmer's glue. So I'm gonna be teaching you how to do some of these shapes and hopefully you'll have some fun and create your own work from that. So in order to get started, go ahead Find, even if you just have one today, um, a paper towel roll or a toilet paper roll and also a pair of scissors. So go ahead and get your supplies. All right, now that you have your supplies, let's go ahead and get started. So um, I'm using both a toilet paper roll and a paper towel roll. This is all I have available right now. And so this is what I'm going to use. So the best way to get started is I like to take, um, I'm gonna start out with my toilet paper roll. I like to take it and just kind of smush it down because it makes it a little bit more easier for when you are cutting it, okay? So I'm gonna go like this and then I'm just gonna cut straight across. These are just gonna be little sections and I'm just gonna cut most of this up and you can cut um, whatever width you would like for how wide you want it to be. Just depends on what you're making. I'm just gonna cut, try and cut some of them similar size so that I can show you the different shapes that you can create. Okay, all right, now let me show you what you can do with these. First one, pretty simple, if you just pull it a little bit, that's kind of a nice um, oval shape. Uh, reminds me of a really a, a flower petal, uh, but maybe you have some other ideas for it. Okay, so that's one shape. I could also just pinch it a little bit more and turn it back into that circular shape. Okay, definitely could use that for something. Um, the next thing I can do, so if I take it just like this and I press it together, really crease the edges, I can fold it in half making the two ends touch, press it together, okay, just like this. Open it up a little bit. This reminds me of a bird. Um, also two little leaves, or you could cut right down the center here and you have two kind of smaller oval shapes that you could do whatever you'd like with. Okay, the next one I'm gonna show you how to make a, uh, let's do the heart shape. Okay, so I'm gonna take one end and hold like this. On the other top, I'm just taking my pointer finger and I'm gonna push inward kind of an inward fold. You can actually already kind of see that heart shape, but let's crease that, okay? All right, so you have a little heart shape. It is also what I used um, for my tulip shape for my flower, okay? Um, the next one, let me show you how to make a butterfly. Okay, so similar, I'm gonna press um, and hold it at the bottom here, and then with my other hand, I'm going to press in just like I'd be starting out with doing the heart shape, okay? All right, so that's the top, but I'm also gonna to go to the bottom, push that in, push it a little bit farther. Sometimes you get these little strays. I just trim them off. Okay, now I'm going to open this up. And there I have my own idea of kind of a simple butterfly shape. I'm gonna cut this part off a little bit too. Okay, 
All right, so there is some basic shapes you can start with. I'm also going to teach you how to create, I created some stems and I created some, some different types of swirling kind of curving leaves um, on my flower and in my picture. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So you're just going to take um, one of your strips like this and then I take one end with my scissors in the inside so you can see that and cut, open it up, okay. And I can make this shorter, taller, um, and that's going to be, and if I turn it this way, that's how I had um, the stem on my artwork, okay? Uh, I'm going to show you how to now curve it. Let me actually give you another visual if you are trying to remember even my artwork here that I was working on. Okay, so like I was just saying, I cut this. I cut this probably about right here, and those became my stems for my flowers. Okay, this one I think I kept a very long one. Okay, and now I'm gonna show you how to create this spiral form here, okay? Also, before I get to that though, check up here at the butterflies, okay? Those are just really small strips cut, very easy. Okay, so let me show you how to make the spiral form. If you have a pencil at home or if you actually happen to have a, uh, a paintbrush, I would take anything that has a round curved edge. Okay, so I'm going to take that and I'm going to start to wrap it around just like this. Okay. And you could really do anything you would like. Okay, so that's like very spiraled. I do not necessarily need all of that if I was just making kind of the stem, excuse me, not the stem, the, the leaf part, okay? And then I just kind of curved it that way. So that's how I made that to come off the flower part, okay? Um, also in the middle of my flower here, I'm gonna go back to my artwork just that you can keep remembering kind of what it looks like and why I'm showing some of these shapes and hopefully you can just use them for whatever way you would like. If I curl it all the way like this, that's what I use for the inside of that part of that flower. Okay, last thing I'm going to show you with this is just this kind of grass down here. So let me show you how to do that. Um, that was done in some sections as well. So move some of this stuff out of the way. All right. Um, you need it to be a little bit wider, so I'm going to cut this in half for my grass. And I'm basically creating fringe. Okay, so I am going to cut this one end. I'm not going to cut the other end yet. I'm cutting the two layers at a time. And I'm just making small little cuts, not going all the way down, leaving a little bit of an edge because if you want to glue this down or if you're going to turn it into something else, um, you have a little bit of an edge there to work with. And you don't have all these teeny little pieces falling apart. Okay. So once I get that done, okay, open this back up. And there we have some grass. What I did is I just kind of bent like this so that the grass pieces were coming forward. And then you can kind of play around with which way they go. Grass goes all different ways. Okay. And I made another, um, I think I had like three of these to go across. Okay. So that became kind of my final product here. Now, if you have paints at home, you could paint this. Um, you certainly could use dry media too, such as crayons, colored pencils. I can imagine if you had some sort of cardboard, if you're gonna create some sort of two dimensional image, um, your cardboard piece, even if you had like a white cardboard piece, this was just something we had from a, from a box. And so, but you can get quite an interesting technique with just using different dry art media on your, on your finished artwork. But I really do like the recycled look of it, of not adding any color to it. And that really just goes along with um, this month and Earth Day and just um, using what we have, um, recyclables, to create some really beautiful artwork. So I'm hoping you're going to have some fun with that. Um, the last thing I wanted to show you is maybe you like to do art more in the three-dimensional realm. So I'm going to show you how to kind of stack different pieces together without having to glue anything. 
So that's gonna bring me to using um, my paper towel roll. Okay, so I'm gonna move some of these, um, some of my stuff off to the side. And so basically, I'm just going to show you how to cut again and cut some creases and stack them together. So you can press it down again. It helps a lot with cutting, especially it feels as if the paper towel roll is a little bit more durable, a little bit thicker cardboard that we're working with, which that can help to your advantage um, with sculpture work. So I'm going to cut, let's see, I'm gonna just cut these a little bit wider. Okay. Did you just fart? No, my arm's sore. <laughs> Sorry, you're gonna have to cut that out. Okay. I am just pinching these together to have them go back to more of their circular shape. Okay. Now ah, they're all a little bit different in size with height and I'm okay with that. Okay. So if I wanted to start to construct something, um, I can simply, let's take this one. I can simply cut a little kind of just a small crease right there. Okay. If you want them to be the same though, you could press it back down and kind of make sure that they are cut the same width in, which if you like things a little bit more precise, that may be the route you want to go. All right. So I'm just going to kind of play around with attaching these. I'm just going to start out with this one. So I'm going to attach it from one side right here. Okay. And so there I have that. Okay. Let's go ahead and do another one. This time for this one, I'm going to cut right here, but I'm not going to go directly all the way across. I'm just going to go off to the side. See what, see what that does when I attach it. Okay. They are going to push down a little bit. You can always just adjust that as you go. So you can see if you cut them directly across, it's going to um, be a little bit more in line. Okay. With the one that it's above if you make your cuts not that far apart from each other and then you hook them onto whatever part that you're hooking onto, it's going to kind of off center a little bit more. So it just depends on what you are attempting to build. I'm going to do the same, kind of not too far apart. And stack it on this side. Keeping on going. Let's see if I can get this one to come off just a little bit from this side. Okay. That's what this is looking like so far. We got one more left. Now, if you're building something tall, it's kind of a fun challenge to see how you can keep it balanced. It's kind of what I'm going for right now. Maybe slightly off. So let's adjust this. Let's go this way. There we go. So you can play around with balancing it. If you want to create something structural, I think it'd be really cool. Uh, as I'm even just thinking right now and kind of in that creative process, I kind of imagine this tree if I had more um, if I had more paper towel rolls or toilet paper rolls, I would cut some strips and maybe start to kind of picture different branches coming off of it and maybe hang some leaves. Um, that would be a really fun challenge. So maybe that will be my next personal challenge as I continue to collect more um, collect more cardboard rolls like this. So uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what you create this week 
and so is Ms. Kon Mrs. Konechka. Uh, if you are uh, able to photograph a picture of what you made, uh, please, if you could send it to one of our emails or you can upload it to our Google Classrooms. And we would look forward to seeing what you made and be excited about commenting on that and sharing it um, with your other classmates. Thank you everyone for joining us today and we look forward to teaching you something new again next week. Bye for now.